Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and welcome to this course. Now, first of all, I would highly appreciate your feedback and I would really like to have your words at my email that is hitesh at the rate hiteshaudhary.com. In this video, we will talk about something different approach of having SQL injection that is cookie based injection. Yes, injection is also possible co from cookies. Most of the time the cookies are being used for XSS attack like cross site scripting or to grab some live cookies and have session of the particular user in our account. So session hijacking is one of the very important attack, but we are not going to talk about that. As you can see, it's not a series for web application securities. It's a series dedicated to SQL injection. Now, having an injection from a cookie perspective is really, really a different one and is being existing even on the Facebook. So recently our team has reported it onto the Facebook and recent, we have got some bounty hunt on that as well. And I was really glad to have that. So really it's a new kind of injection and you can find it on a lots of websites. So let us try for that, how we can proceed on that. So for this, we are going to use lesson number 17 and don't just get scared off because I'm not going to use the Windows environment for it. I'm going to proceed on the Linux environment, but if you wish, you can proceed on Windows environment too. So uh, what we are going to need for it, first of all, is an add-on of Mozilla Firefox. That add-on is known as Cookies Manager Plus. Now, this is really a great add-on which can help you to get your live cookies, edit the cookies and do a lots of quite stuff with the cookies. So you need that uh, add-on first of all and after that you are going to need uh, lesson number 17. So let us try to proceed on back on our SQL injection environment. I have set up again everything because you know it's kind of a tedious process to again copy the files everywhere but I really appreciate if you do in every lesson because you have to do it. So here is our lesson 17.zip file, but already this file is being transferred. Here it is, lesson 17 and lesson 17 zip file. If you simply travel to this lesson 17 and do a quick ls, you will notice that index.php file is out there. So make sure that you actually have this index.php file and read it out well. Now here is our lesson 17 and you can find your cookie manager add-on here in the tools section cookies manager plus now first of all let's try to have a login with admin and admin since my database is let me first of all reset the database instead of uh, making some things happening out here so we can set up the database from this link and can again travel back to our lesson number 17 Here we are, so if I hit the admin, let us enter some wrong password, let's say A, that would be a wrong password. Submit it, it gives me a drop hand, that means it's not working. Let me try to log in, admin, and admin is the password. Let me try to do a submit, and I notice that my session is being created with the help of cookies. These cookies are also explicitly being made to display on the screen so that we can learn how the cookies works at the back end. So here is all the things in the cookies, your username, the expire session, your login name, password and everything, your ID as well. For right now, I'll just delete this cookie with this button and we'll try to learn all the things. So let me try to again log in and try to find out what extra I can do, admin and admin. Let me just submit it and open up my cookie manager plus. Once I open it up, Eventually, it can have a lots of cookies that are being session managed on your particular browser. So make sure you type the localhost search because if you are going to refresh it without any search, you can see there are lots of sessions which are being created by Mozilla and everything. But we are interested in the localhost session, this one. So if I edit these cookies, you can see a lots of information is out here in the content and as well the name, content and everything. Let us try to do some things. For example, in the if in the content field, if I do a backslash here and save it and hit a refresh out here, let us check, check what happens. Now, here is your friendly error. You have an SQL syntax error. Check the manual that corresponds to MySQL server version for the right syntax. 
Now, this is really a very friendly error. Now, let us learn how to proceed because yes, SQL injection can happen at the cookie end as well. So, instead of this, if I hit a single quote, uh, as I can see here that it is giving me a nice result that yes, we have got a single quote issue in our backend. So let me open it up, save it and so again, uh, same issue. So how we can proceed in this case, let us try with that. Now I'll balance up the code here and I will use or order by one and let's say comment out rest of the things by hash save and everything is uh, correct order by one is being displayed let me try with something else like order by four save it refresh it again again the error is being displayed so let us for the meanwhile let us choose some different because I don't think so this section of the cookie is working well in our case so let us just cut this and paste it on the name field let us give it a admin again save and refresh it so you can see it's let me again log in with the admin and admin open up my cookie manager edit it now uname is going to be quote or let me just write union all order by four save refresh so again things are getting me a logged out so how we can proceed that the thing has got me a logged out that means uh, the things are not working so let me just delete these cookies and again try with the fresh ones so that we can write up our union all statement so let us log in with it so many time it gives you error sometimes it will kick you out from the cookie session things happens like that way so what we can do here in this let's edit it and in the name let's hit a single quote and union select one comma two comma three and comment out rest of the things now I can also write here the admin and the single quote but what will happen after this I will not get actually the numbers out here because the first part is going to be displayed and rest of the query will hide behind so I just want to make this part as non-visible I'll save it and I'll refresh it Let us go back again, try it again. Let us hit union all select or let's say union select one two three and a hash comment and let's try to hit a refresh again now here we have seen that finally we got a success that is your login name the number is being displayed two three and one now eventually you can choose any of these numbers to get the information out of the database so many times it works or doesn't work it will kick you out of the server because you know it's kind of a cookie based injection so it gives you a lots of such mistakes and errors out there so let us edit it again so all the fields are being set to union all select now what you can do simply in place of two let us put database i hope this is a pretty simple injection after this the things are complicated till now only let us save it again 
hit a refresh and hopefully we didn't get kicked out so we didn't get kicked out but we didn't got our information as well let's edit it again so in place of two let's put two again three and database save it and let's hit a again so this time we have got a security so cookie base injection is just all about enumeration the more you are going to try to find it the more you are going to learn it if you'd get kicked out from the server it doesn't means you have to stop try to log in again find out the things and you are going to learn each and everything at the new time so this lesson was explicitly being made to tell you that yes, cookie injection is also possible. Cookie cannot be all the time being used for accesses in every those attacks. So this was all about this lesson. I will be waiting for your feedback and that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.